my channel. Today I have a video all about Morphe brushes, my favorite Morphe brushes, uh, Morphe brush haul, the best of Morphe brushes, whatever you want to call it. Um, today we're going to be talking about Morphe brushes and I know that a lot of people get tired of hearing about Morphe but honestly like everything in makeup is over advertised. It just depends on what you choose to buy. So if you're looking for new brushes or you're just curious about Morphe because it has been overtized so much, this is the video for you. I'll show you like my favorite brushes. I'll talk about Morphe company when it comes to like shipping and things like that. I'll say all that at the end. But for right now, let's just get to the brush haul. Now I'm going to start off with my foundation brushes. And I have three foundation brushes from Morphe, um, but only two of them are my favorite. So my first favorite is the Morphe M439 and this is just a really good buffing brush it um, I use this a lot for like my foundations that are a little bit like soft like foundations that are advertised like uh, light coverage soft luminous things like that like my Laura Mercier um, foundation or like a tinted moisturizer I use a brush like this to really buff it in the skin so it can really cover all the areas it's it just applies foundation so flawlessly and the bristles are so soft and it's but it, but at the same time really dense I just cleaned this one so it's still like a little wet but some of these brushes I had I used today so they are a little dirty so bear with me but yes this is an M439 another foundation brush that I like to use is the Morphe E31 and this is from the elite collection um, hence the E and I love the elite collection I know it's the more expensive um, collection out of the whole Morphe line but oh my god it's so worth it the brushes feel like such good quality they're so heavy I love the the bristles on there um, like this brush I use to when I'm doing my foundation quickly because it's so um, it's, it's really soft but um, it applies the foundation um, more quickly because or quickly because it um, it's, it's a wider brush than this buffing brush I can use this with like full cover full of coverage foundations to just like apply it quickly and just be done with it I love the way that the elite collection looks how it has the barrel gets skinny and pointed at the end so yeah the elite collection I have a lot of those so I'll be talking about a few of those throughout this video next we're going to be moving on to um, powder brushes and I have quite a few powder brushes as you can see the first one I'm going to talk about is from the rose gold collection this is the R zeros this is the R zeros it's rubbed off um, but yeah, this is the R0. It's like a tulip shaped powder brush. I just use this to lightly dust powder on my face. I have dry skin, so I don't get powder brushes that are like densely packed to like really pack on powder on my face because I like to use just a light swoosh of powder on my face. Um, and also a similar brush to that is the Morphe E41. And they are both like the same shape type of brush um, this one I would say is a little less quality than the elite of course but in this one has um, bristles or I get hair on my face sometimes when I use this one similar to when I use the R7 from Morphe as my bronzer brush all of the brushes with the white hair the goat hair they tend to leave hair on my face so that's a good um, something good to remember when you're ordering from Morphe I ordered another bronzer brush because I just like I couldn't do this one anymore it was just like leaving hairs on my face all the time and I found that a lot with a lot of the white hair brushes that the, they would leave hair on my face so now I tend to just buy um, brushes like well the elite collection basically <laughs> so these work very similar this one is softer than this one but they both work very well to distribute a light flush of powder on your face if you do need to like pack on the powder I would suggest a more dense powder brush but for these they're really good for like also use the e41 sometimes for bronzing like if you just want if you don't want like a 
really harsh strict contour you just want to like bronze up your face this is good for that because it has kind of comes to like a point sort of and you can just you know bronze your face up put all that color and it'll be good so next i have another elite e3 and the e3 i like i like this for dusting powder off in small places like under the eyes and then maybe if you're baking under the cheekbone just to dust it off down here and on the nose and stuff like this brush a lot of i think a lot of people use the e3 for blush um which you could you could very well use this for for blush um i don't tend to wear a lot of blush so i don't really care like i'll pick up anything for blush i do have a blush brush from morphe that i'll show you next but this um brush i heard a lot of people raving over the e3 and i was like oh i have to get it like i have to try it out for myself so i got it and i really like it it's really good for powder in small places sometimes if you don't want to powder your whole face which is me a lot of times because i have dry skin i don't want to put powder all over my whole face so i use this to put powders in specific places so love the e3 the next brush I have is the E4, which is another brush that I heard a lot of people raving over for blush. This is the brush I use for blush. As you can see, it hasn't gotten much use because I don't, like I said, I don't wear blush that often. But um, when I do wear blush, it just it just blends this brush just blends it into my contour so well. That's how I like to put on my blush. I like to kind of like blend it in and this brush does the trick soft bristles just like the rest of them um really just easy application love the handle i love how skinny these brushes are and how long they are too so another elite favorite of mine the next brush i have is not from the elite collection it is the m437 and i got this brush for when I want like a really strong contour, I just will use this brush in the hollows in the hollows of my cheek to buff out my contour, my powder contour, um, and really just like get it into the lines. This one is great for buffing out powder contour. There was one I didn't when I first got this brush, I didn't like it because I thought it was gonna be bigger. And I was contemplated between getting this one and another one. I forget what the other one was called, but it was only Morphe. It was it it was um it was just like this, but it was had white goat hair on it. And I'm glad I got this one because I'm pretty sure the white goat hair one would have left hair on my face. So this is another good one I love to use for contouring. Speaking of contouring, there's one more brush that I like to use. This is the Y10. And the Y10 I use, this is from the Gilded Collection. And I use this to buff out cream contours. So, um, this one I think it is advertised as a contour brush um, and I just I really love the packaging everything about this brush I love I know some people use I don't know if it's the Y10 or the Y7 where people use it to buff in foundation nowadays because using a smaller tool some people like doing that this one isn't necessary but I just do I really do like this all the ones that I said before are necessary to have in your brush collection this one not so necessary but good one to have so next we have a concealer brush this is from the elite collection this is the y8 and uh, this is like my favorite brush out of the, all the brushes that i have this is my favorite brush i can't live without it because a lot of times a lot of days i don't put on foundation and contour and all of other stuff i just want to cover my spots with concealer and then just go so these two together are my go-to brushes i will put on my concealer with this brush and then i'll put on my powder with this brush and i am out the door but i love this brush it's so good at buffing in the concealer and getting into small places i know some people use this also for a liquid contour or powder con powder contour just to really get in those cheekbones um but i love this for concealer i love it for buffing it out under the eyes spot concealing um using your color correcting concealer and just buffing that out love 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 this brush if you don't get any other brush out of the morphe collection get the e8 because you you need that brush you honestly you do need that 
And the next brush I have is for highlighting and this brush is the R36 and this is just so perfect for highlighting. I mean it just gets right on top of the cheekbone. It, this is the only brush that I think, no this has gotten hairs in my face. This brush has gotten hairs in my face as you can see, well it's dirty but it's one of the white hair brushes. It has gotten hairs on my face for some reason I don't hate it as much as I hate the R7 bronzing brush. Like, I don't know like I guess this one it just applies your highlight so nicely on top of the cheekbones and just it, make, it makes it quick it just diffuses the color so beautifully I love it and it's easy to handle too it's just like it's just so easy to handle like I love this brush um are there better highlighting brushes out there yes so again not necessary not necessary but a good brush to have and it's super lightweight that's the thing that's the difference between like the elite collection and the other collections like the elite collection has weight on it these don't like the rest of the brushes really don't but um the elite collection yes it's quality i think that's it i do have eye brushes from Morphe but I'm not really like a huge eyeshadow person I don't really wear eyeshadow that often or I mean I like eyeshadow I just don't really know how to do it that well and so the brushes I don't appreciate my eye brushes as much as I appreciate my face brushes because I'm more into like the face makeup than I am the eye makeup but um I will say that I have two blending brushes that I really like from Morphe. This is the M533 and the M531. And both of them are really good for, this one is really fluffy. And if you're looking for like a big fluffy blending brush to just diffuse like your, your transition color, just like get that all on your lids, I really recommend the M531. And that's what I do most of the time. I'm really lazy with my eyeshadow. I'll just take one of like Swiss chocolate from MAC and just wanna like, put that on my eyelids and be done with it the m533 is still a fluffy blending brush but it's a little smaller than um the m531 and so if you use this to like diffuse large amounts of color on your eyes and then you can just take your second color on this brush and just kind of blend blend it together this one's a little smaller so it can get into like the crease a little bit better but love these blending brushes and um, I think that's about all the brushes that I'm really crazy about of Morphe. I did order more brushes because over the Memorial Day weekend, Jaclyn Hill had a code for 15% off that I took advantage of because it was only going to last for four days. So I got another bronzing brush, of course, because I just needed it. And I got a couple other brushes. Um, Morphe shipping is really annoying. The first time I ordered from them, I just started using Morphe in 2017 this year. The first time I ordered from them, my brushes, I got my shipping confirmation super quick and my brushes came. And then I realized that was just me being lucky because that's not the standard. It'll take them a whole week to get, like usually it'll take them a whole week to get your confirmation and shipping all together. And every time I've emailed them, I've gotten back the, um, like the generated message, like, oh, this is, it's just an odd, like the automated message so that's annoying um i know a lot of people have complained about morphe uh, like the when you get your brushes and like the handle will not be glued on properly i've never had that problem so knock on wood i never had that problem thank goodness um especially because it's hard to like exchange and stuff or return i don't even think they take returns on morphe i'm not sure but i don't think that they do i can check on that um, but it is hard to like swap the brush or whatever, you know, do it exchanges and returns. So you're just kind of like have to deal with it after you've waited all the time in shipping. So those are the only complaints I have about Morphe. The brushes and the brush quality is excellent. Um, I suggest that you, if you're trying to get more into brushes, you should start with Morphe. I, guys, I've had MAC brushes, BH Cosmetics. Coastal Sense, all, you know, no, like, no name or brands, I can't remember their names, brushes, and 
they I've been disappointed it's been lots of MAC brushes are notorious for me for getting pairs on your face like I just cannot deal with the MAC brushes they are way too expensive for no reason the quality the bristle quality is no better than the Morphe the Morphe is probably better in bristle quality I just love this brush like it's like a little microphone the E41 you guys the E41 you need this brush in your life or whatever I love like the tulip round brushes like even if I don't use it I just want it to have just to look at but anyways yes so try Morphe brushes um always use a bunch of youtubers have 10 percent off so use a coupon um shipping's about seven dollars um and once it ships it doesn't it takes a standard I think it comes in about three or four days so you know standard amount of time but thank you so much for watching I hope that this was this video was helpful and I'll see you in my next video bye